Hey, Barbara. Hey there. This feels mm -hmm. like an odd, odd question, but it feels as though my ear canals are, I don't know if they're inflamed. The The left one actually feels like it's getting narrower. I can, can't yeah. even get the tip of my little it's, finger. It's inflamed. Yeah, that's inflamed. Um, I mean, there's no pain and my hearing is fine, but it just doesn't feel right. Yeah, it, they can get inflamed. They they can, the diameter can shrink. Um, sometimes you'll start hearing like popping in your ears. Um, uh, yeah, so I would say a couple of things. Um, you, you could it, just inhaling hyssop sometimes will reduce some of that. But I would say like like gargling with two or three drops, even four or five drops of bay laurel in the mouth, like really just kind of open up all the lymph and, you know, the lymph nodes and all that. And you don't need to swallow it. Just really swish it around for a few minutes um, or cypress, like whichever one you have, just three, four drops in water push it around and do it like maybe one or two times a day and it should unwind a lot of that. Okay. I think I have both. Should I stick with one or alternate? Is there a benefit? Um, I would probably, I would maybe alternate. I was going to say, I'd probably start with Bay Laurel, but then I was like, oh, Cypress might actually, I don't know. Um, do, do you have any sinus issues right now? They've been a little more congested of late. Inhale some rosemary verbenin or sinus support or basil or some, something that you have for the sinuses. Open that up too, because a lot of times there's something going on with the sinuses when that's happening. I mean, it can happen without that, but um, might as well treat them both. Okay, and thank you. And any connection to um, dental stuff? Like sometimes it, I think there might be a low grade infection. Yeah, I mean, it's always possible. Um, but, but, you know, like when you have, um, sinus issues or, um, yeah, are, are you prone to headaches? Well, generally not, but sometimes after class, they feel pretty. <laughs> <laughs> So what, one thing that can happen is like the muscles on the on the side, the temporalis, yeah. will actually radiate pain down into the teeth. And so sinus issues can cause issues in the teeth and the temporalis can cause, and it's not even really issues, it just feels, you know, it's affecting the nerve. So it feels like a little neurologically, like something, something's up, but it's actually more the temple than the mouth itself. So, you know, you can just take a little bit of something like marjoram or vetiver and put some on your fingers and then just get in and rub the scalp. And a lot of times that will alleviate some of it. Thank you. I know often when you would have us check in with the body, there's something in the jaw almost all the time. I don't know if that's a piece of this too, or. There's something what? I didn't catch that one. Oh, uh, when you would have us go to body awareness and where do mm -hmm. you feel it? It's off in my jaw. I, oh, part if, if you're having some jaw stuff, then definitely your temples are probably, you know, because like if you put your hand on your on the side of your head like so, and then open and close your jaw, you can feel all the movement up there. Yeah. That muscle up there is a big, plays a big role in moving the jaw. And so a lot of times jaw issues are also the side of the head. So better for, for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Plus it feels super good. Like, you know, do it around the ear. And then like my trick is, is I lay on my side and then put a few drops of marjoram in the, on the scalp. And then I just kind of rub it in and, oh man, it feels so good. Feels so okay. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You're so welcome.